Hello, my name is Walter and welcome back to Walter Originals. I just caught up on all of the shows that I missed out on and I'm sorry I couldn't do uh, reactions on them. I, I have two strikes on my channel right now, so that's a bit of an issue. I don't think you're going to see me do like reactions yet. I think I'm just going to let them uh, pass and then I'm going to do the reactions again i'm gonna do more of these like uh everything in between the originals the sketches all that I'm bringing ba all back because i don't i don't have much to do as, as well i think i'll have to be a little bit more creative i'll have to I, I will try to do a bit of a post episode reactions as well so that you guys have a feel of what i felt about the episode and all that so i will not really be abandoning abandoning the re uh, reactions as i initially wanted to do because I thought I could do gaming and actually I'm planning to do a replay through of uh, Inside uh, I mean um, sorry Little Nightmares I, I did play Inside but I just thought that wasn't as strong of a, uh, a start line for me because that was about like Inside was all about like the um, uh, whatever the um, uh, cult and everything, but that that's another story. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I caught up on uh, Star vs. Force of Evil, Channel Zero, Gotham, uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow, and that was it. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start off with Star vs. Force of Evil, and I have like 19 minutes left. You know, I, I said that I'll challenge myself to keep it down to 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, we start off with uh, Stomp Day, which is the um, you know, how the backstory of Stomp Day, and it's, it's essentially. Christmas plus Thanksgiving, but I think that's Christmas in general. Like you know, you gather around the table, you know, you celebrate, and like you do, you're thankful as well, and you you're always reflective at the end of the year. So it's it's more of that as well. Uh, but obviously there is a religious you know back text to it, but I I'm not really into that. Like I mean, like I understand it. It's just like you know, I I'm not that of that religion so i i get the spirit and get the i get the idea behind christmas but i'm not the religious type so i'm not really the one who goes like, yeah we all we all need to remember that you know it's jesus birthday on christmas but they do bring that in as well in star versus parts of people not necessarily jesus birth or whatever but the santa angle and also like what it came to be um and then the second part is the uh, wand is having their own Christmas party slash Storm Day party. Uh, but uh, the thing about it is, is that the, the you know, more often the used seeing eye is now with them. And it's a Queen Eclipse, uh, uh, you know, spell. So it's kind of it has that, you know, dangerous vibe to it or the evil vibe to it. But, you know, he's, he's innocent in that, you know, he believes that everything should be told in truth like you know everything should be done truthfully but for me i i think there is a line to draw if you if you are lying for the betterment of someone i definitely think that's in a way good but also you know you have to you know you have to understand that you bear the burden of the consequences that you know the person goes through after that if you don't tell the truth but, you know, there are other times when you don't necessarily need to tell the truth. And that's my opinion. And I think you know, a lot of people don't really want to believe that all humans are, are evil or all humans have an evil side to them. But I really do believe that we always have a duality. Like, there's always good and there's always bad. So, that's just me. Uh, so, yeah, that was Star vs. The Force of Evil. And I, I thought it was really... An interesting filler to say the least and you know they don't treat it as filler they, they do treat it with respect and they know it's filler so you know they, they try their best to kind of do something with it you know to bring in the Halloween aspect as well like a lot of Christmases try nowadays as well uh, with the with the scary element with the horror element and I think it was really nicely done uh, and then we move on to Gotham um, I really enjoyed Gotham. I think uh, when I when I left it, 
it was it was getting a bit dull but then like at the like in the middle of it it always kind of escalates like it always kind of reaches a climax and uh, i think in this one is it was more obvious than not like i i mean like it brought back the old timey feels for me like because i remember the first season and i i was so thrown out by the penguin umbrella and i was like oh my god that is so freaking smart because like that is something which you would legitimately not expect but they're giving you subtle clues in the background and you're like maybe you know he has other help as well also has other help as well and in this one it's more on uh oswald again but you know he's playing the other side because like he's pushing um sophia uh out of the picture but sophia knows it and she has a counter attack and it was such a good this one was better than the penguins of Bella, i think you know i think the third act of it um i thought that um you know harvey i think i give him all the leeway that i can and i say yes you know he definitely deserves to be angry at jim but also you know be angry at himself because you know he shot his own people but also i think you know he should have like had the balls to say okay i did something wrong i fucked up but you know harvey is the nonchalant guy we all know that and i think that pushed jim to kind of take the captaincy of the gcpd but it's also you know uh gordon's uh ego uh, i'm just worried about bruce because you know he's How do I say this? He's becoming a brat, uh, you know, more and more throughout the episode, like throughout the episodes that I watched on. And I was like, mm. you know, he, he certainly does know th that he, it is supposedly a guy who's trying to drown out his feelings and, you know, throws himself in parties and everything. So he's going for the playboy persona, whatever. I, I definitely like that and of course you know he's reaching to hood so I definitely think that adds to its um you know it adds to the relatability of it and I think you know it, it does get up to a point where I'm like okay it does make sense but I wish it would have been dialed down a tad bit but I, I think it worked pretty well and um I I just hope that Alfred comes back man oh that was a hard scene to watch because like alfred did warn him but like i think you know bruce was just like fuck this like i i mean i'm the i'm the you know i am the the upper you know upper class person like i don't need to take this like i think and then you know fired alfred uh, so that was definitely sad. Um, yeah, Channel Zero. I watched uh, it and I was like, yeah, I think, I think I definitely understand why some people don't really like the show. Uh, obviously, some people have fallen out with it. You know, it has lost a lot of its popularity, whatever. But I, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was pretty interesting, and I thought the the angle of the memories was really nicely done. Um, I was still not sure about like the friends angle i think i'm not really sure i have to kind of read the read up the creepy pasta on the no end house I, I mean you know they always say the book gives you more uh, uh background more more information so i definitely think that's you know needed for channel zero and i i definitely wanted to be out of it because I, I'm, I'm the kind of person who says like okay we don't really need a book because a visual means is a visual means and you're supposed to tell uh, a story on a visual means and um yeah I, I definitely think that um it was i i really i enjoyed it and i i think you know there was a lot of angles to it that, uh, that the kennel cove didn't really take and i thought yeah this is something where it's warranted and i really like the uh scariness of it like the horror aspects of it the thriller aspects of it uh it really took its time it was very methodical this one um and yeah i, I definitely think there was parts of it where we were like yeah i don't know if the decisions that they're making is the best decisions and of course you know the the um 
the people aren't sure as well. Like the people of the the show aren't sure aren't sure as well. The characters aren't sure of their decisions as well, and you know that's what makes it really interesting for me at least. Um, I don't think I'm gonna finish Mr. Mercedes. I I'm gonna try my best to catch up on Lucifer as well. I haven't done that in a while. Um, but yeah, that was Challenge Zero, and the final one is uh, Legends of Tomorrow, and it's it's under uh, twenty minutes. I think it is. Uh, it's fine. Um, and uh, you know, this is Legends of Tomorrow. I think w w it it got more emotional towards the end. And of course, I I watched the uh, Crises at Earth X without prior knowledge to Arrow and the Flash and of course it was a bit weird uh, at the first but I was like yeah I think I think I get it you know I, it's uh, it's very easy to grasp you know I don't really need to know the other storylines to be like yeah I get the full picture now but a bit more would have been nice I hope I wish they did the uh, previously on Arrow or something like that I, I like last time the Dominators thingy uh, but yeah, overall, I thought that Crisis on Earth X thing was pretty nicely wrapped up uh, in DC Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, apparently, the, there were doppelganger Nazi people from Earth X, and I thought it was in, an interesting angle at least. Um, <clears throat> and then the biggest shock for me was uh, Stein dying. I don't know what happened. Um, obviously, it happened during. Arrow and Flash. I stopped Arrow a long time ago, and uh, trying to stop Flash. I don't really wanna watch it anymore. Uh, but yeah, apparently Oliver and Felicity are back together, and I'm like, that's not healthy, you guys. Like I know, I know that it's the all like ah, happy ending, blah blah blah. But I was just like, nah, nah, fuck no. Like that's really, really not healthy. I mean, like, if I was Oliver, I would have fucking, like, thrown her out. I'd be like, you know, I, I don't think we can be friends anymore, you know, because you, you are not supportive of me right now. And, like, I really did want to tell you about the kid that I had, but, like, you don't, you're not, you're not wanting to listen to me right now, so fuck you, you know what I mean? Like, that's just it. Like you, you gotta draw the line somewhere, people. Okay, like don't let people step all over you. Okay, like that's just my message of the day. Okay, um, but yeah, I I thought that was that was really good. I like the Helen of Troy one. She is the most beautiful of the um, the women in all history. And I thought I thought they uh, selected a good actress, uh, and then and of course you know that there is definite consequences when you when you have an anachronism like that, and uh, you know they used a uh, metal B man um, joke in the uh, in, in that episode, and I was like, yeah, I guess it's warranted because all the guys are just like hunting dogs because they see like this really hot woman. Um, but other than that, I, I, I didn't think it was very cheap, like, it was very tongue-in-cheek towards the, the men. Because, you know, the, the, the thing with the feminists and the feminazis and the SJWs, I don't really get. But, like, I do, I do get poor comedy and, like, you know, I think it was just done okay. Like, you know, it was not offensive, not, nothing, it's just okay. It's an okay joke. Like they're saying that, like the joke was, has men learned to evolve over the years, and that's just such a, a Sarah thing to say. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't really care, <laughs> cause it's it's not funny. It's just whatever. It's just yeah. It's there because they they wanna make a girl rule kind of girls rule kind of you know argument whatever and I, but the most interesting part of that is that Zari drops uh Helen of Troy in Themyscira and I was like ah Themyscira I know that place now because <laughs> of Wonder Woman uh but yeah I liked the the death of um uh Stein I thought that was really cool to do and apparently they found a cure for uh, Firestorm, so I'm like, okay, I'll accept it. 
so fine. I didn't need to see that happen, but obviously it happened during Flash, I guess, because science is more towards Flash as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think, um, you know, the the ending of the Leif Erikson, like conquering the whole new world and everything was really interesting for me. And I I feel that uh, Leif Erikson was a person who was really homesick when he caught to the new world. So I think, you know, that that kind of really made sense because if you're if you're in a place like in, a, in an unknown place for a long time, you would want to kind of just like go back home and like you don't know the numbers, you don't know the land probably. Like you're just coming here to just like look at it and like fuck up, like you know. But like other pillars, ideologies, like her, her, like his sister, I think, you know, wanted to kind of conquer the new world, the new Valhalla, in her own words. Uh, it was really interesting. But uh, yeah, I thought that was that was well done. I thought that was that brought about like a lot of history to it. And that, that's the, the thing I kind of miss from Legends from time to time, like them bringing in history. So that's why I love the Helen of Troy one and I love the, um, I love the, fuck, I forgot, the other one, um, I'm not, I'm going to try it right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's something where, you know, it was fun to watch. Oh, the Leif Erikson one, sorry. Um, I'm pretty slow today, uh, but yeah, I, there's something where I'm like, yeah, it's definitely a plus when you teach people something as well, like for a show to go on like this, and like have fun, whatever, but also your time traveling, you know, teach us something, like the the Western one, they didn't really teach us much, but yes, there was some facts and it was more of like the video game text there go ding like in 1942 the western virgin disease came through here or whatever like that was just it but i thought that they really you know he I, like nathaniel was really um passionate about the leaf erickson one because if he didn't take to christianity he would have he would have fucking conquered uh, the whole of North America, so there's that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think it was just fine. And uh, Jackson leaving did make a ton of sense because you know he lost his, uh, you know he lost his other half, so to say. But it's Martin, and uh, I think you know he's just wanting time to grieve over Martin. So. Yeah, guys, that was about it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully soon enough. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, but most likely, I will be demonetized for this video because YouTube doesn't really like people uploading anymore. And I don't know why. Like, it's just weird. Because, like, when I did the, the streaming, like, no demonetization whatsoever. It was freaking, like, green. And I'm like, okay this is what youtube wants now like people to live stream because like i remember like uploading uh my vlog the other day and it freaking got demonetized as well and i was like why it's just a vlog like i'm not really saying anything i'm just updating people on what's coming up next um anyway <laughs> this is all like youtube politics but yeah that, there we go um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you like to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell to be notified firsthand of my future videos. And also because YouTube loves to unsubscribe people, so ring the bell, make sure you're still uh, subscribed to me. And uh, remember to share my videos, share the love, and uh, remember that I will be doing Christmas stuff as well. Uh, I'm just planning things out, scheduling them out. And also, we just wanted to take my time, really. I, I don't really have anything planned. I'm just doing things as I go and as I want it to be. Um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.